Today we're talking about the power function. So yeah, I've got an Excel worksheet and I'm going to put in the number five. So let's say you want to put in a function that is going to take this number and increase it, you know, to the power of three, to the power of five, whatever the case is. I can do this one of two ways. The simplest way <laughs> is by going up to the formulas tab, then going insert function. And in my top area here, I'm going to type in power and click go. So in my dialog box there, you can see there's the power function. I'm going to click on it, click OK. And now it's going to bring up the function arguments. So they're asking me for two things. Which number do I want to actually use as my base number? Well, in this case, it's the number five. And then when I go to power, like they're saying here, it's the exponent to which the base number is raised. So what exponent do I want to put in? Let's just say I want to go five to the power of two. And you can see there already, it's done the calculation for me, I can put in five, I can put in seven, whatever the case is, let's stick with about three. And I click OK. Now, alternatively, I can go and type it out and say equals power, I open my bracket and there already I'm told the breakdown. So I'm going to pop in the number, a semicolon, and then it tells me to put in the power, the exponent, close that off. And there we go. And if I change that to three, I end up with the same number. So I can do um, it either way, but that's how I use the power function.